I got out here and there are no drill bits. Well, this is the uh, BAB. in here trying to plan out everything here and first thing I'm gonna do is get all these old autopilot wires taken off well, at least undone and look at what the labels say because I should be able to reuse the power and the line going up to the original drive unit um, it's just a two wire and that will be able to drive the new unit also so I wanted to replace that the wheel drive cable which is this, and look at this, the person who installed it labeled it wheel drive here, labeled it wheel drive here, and then four inches away from that labeled it wheel drive here. So nice job whoever put this in, but this goes to the wheel drive and then it went up to the control unit, which is like where you say you want to do a certain course and all that, which the modern version of that is now uh, this thing here. and. Now on this model, it doesn't go like that. The wheel drive unit plugs into a control box. You know, the fact that this boat already had a wheel pilot on it makes this easier. I already have the, the switch for it here um, that's fused or on a breaker. And when I come in here, I can find the labeled tag that says DC to autopilot. So that is going right up here. You can see that wire wiggling. So those are my power wires that I can take off this old unit, pull them down. So here's my power that's gonna to go to my control box that's gonna go right here now. Everything comes off the control box now. So yeah, I'm getting lucky where some of these, you know, some of the stuff's already done, thank God. And then here, now the air conditioning's on right now, so it's making a lot of noise in there. In here we have the air conditioning unit, which is, you know, it sucks air through here when it's closed comes out of there and it comes out up in the front there and um, this is the filter for the air conditioner and the water pump that pumps water through the condenser this is the lid that's supposed to be out here and that is the Raymarine compass all right so I got this off and uh, yeah it feels like there's a ball inside there and so it feels like it's in like a dish a metal dish so I think as the boat moves and this ball moves around in here it knew which way the boat was pitching so so that gets replaced with this Raymarine thing that doesn't have a ball floating in it anymore. It must just sense it somehow. So this is the backbone cable. This is the long cable. And it has these connectors. Blue goes to blue. And then from the device, which in this case, let's say is the compass unit, it has a cable that goes from the back of that, which is labeled white, to the white part of this. So this will be the end, kind of, and the longest cable run. And then that'll go all the way back down through there into there and everything else will take place back there. Uh, I got the SeaTalk cable uh, taped to the old cable to try and pull it through. And I'm just going to pray that this works because otherwise I didn't bring my um, feeder tape for electric wires today. And man, I don't want to drive back home. So let's hope this works. Wow, what a mess it is in here. Well, due to the air conditioning and uh, water heater and everything that was installed over where the wire runs, the original compass wire, I cannot get it to pull through there, and I didn't bring my wire tape. So I'm gonna put the, the compass on this side, right in front of the water tank, which is kind of matches where it was on the other side as far as the offset of the boat, but it's much easier access to all the wires and a shorter run too. So let's do it. Well, I always said you get to know your boat when uh, you do things like this. So someone, the factory wiring is, it's too hard to get to because it goes down behind it was put in and then this was added the water tank here 25 gallon tank but somebody added this transducer cable which goes into this cabinet and then comes out there goes down here through a hole there that i can get to here and goes back into my quarter berth where i'm going to do all this so this is perfect this will be much easier and since that this backbone cable is teeing off into this compass then you put this um, terminator in the end here to say that this is the end of the line. I couldn't find my drill bits at home and I thought I must have them in the boat. Same with the battery charger, I couldn't find it at home but it was in the boat. 
I got out here and there are no drill bits, so I can't drill my stuff. And then I remembered I bought a Dremel and left it in the boat. Just, you know, in case I ever have to do anything while I'm here. And look at that, a little drill bit so I can drill the holes. I cut out all the templates so I knew the drilling locations for the mounting brackets, but it's always better to draw through these with a Sharpie or something instead of trying to drill through the piece of paper, which just doesn't work. The sensor core has to be within five degrees of level. Okay, so how do I do this? <coughs> what the hell? What the hell? Can... EV core. Let's do this thing. Things on these. I don't know if I'll be able to get that bottom one. I might not be able to. Two degrees. One degree. Look at that. Two, three, good. Two degrees and three degrees. That's within their little specs. And this has little grooves on it that keep it from spinning. It spins like that, okay? And I have my backbone cable in here with uh, whatever little cable that goes to that. Probably zip tie this, I don't know. Sea talk cable is here. Well, this is the uh, BAB, the big ass box. It says Ray Marine on it, and I kind of want to put it right here. Anyways, well, it's the next morning, and I'm back. And um, I'm going to take this electric panel off. Since this navigation or this uh, autopilot requires not just power from one source, um, the control box and the backbone cables need power. Unfortunately, these some of these are labeled how many amps they are, but some aren't. When the person who did this panel put new labels on, they failed to keep the amperage of the fuse or the breaker on the sticker or the new label, which is a mistake. Now. Now the next owner can't tell how many amps the breaker's for. You know, I watched some videos about how people, how these should be done and how people screw them up. I have a basic general idea now. Nothing, uh, I'm not an electrician by any means. This actually looks pretty good to my untrained eye. Boy, sometimes I do wish I was an electrician. Oh, look, I can see the amperages now. So I'm going to notate what they are, and I'm going to change all the labels that aren't labeled, or maybe put the amperages down the one left side. One of the, the funny things I discovered back in here, look at this bus bar. That's a grounding bus bar. And you see some of them are doubled. That's probably not the perfect way to do it, but um, look at the top screw that's only meant to hold the bus bar on the wall has one screwed to it. Is that actually a ground that way? I guess it might be. I see. No, it's just plastic. So whatever that is isn't really grounded. So now I have to trace that down and see what that is. <clears throat> now that I've been in here for a while, I take back what I said about this not looking so bad. You know, it's not as bad as some of the things the electricians were showing on YouTube last night. But mainly that negative bus bar right there, it's not big enough. So every single um, screw has like two, some have three on them. And that, that's just dumb. It should just be a bigger bus bar. It's only screwed into the wall with two screws. Switch the autopilot on and it's on. And uh, seems like all that connection stuff worked okay. So I'm going to look a couple of menus, and then once everything seems to be okay, I'm going to get it all mounted up in here. There's things you can do on a boat like this that are fun like this. This installing the autopilot is kind of exciting because it, it didn't work, and we're excited to use it. 
it's a great upgrade and feature to have and it's fun to learn how it goes in and and feels like really good to install it well look this wheel pilot does seem to be working i have it in auto and as the boat's moving in the slip the steering is steering so let's push it uh 10 degrees off and see what happens that doesn't look right oh i know why because uh it's not the boat's not steering old new you know they don't make them the same size in the back anymore so and i can't use a hole saw to cut this one bigger because a hole saw only works when you can have a a center where it can go through the original material so i'll have to use my jigsaw to cut the hole bigger well i just noticed my blade on my jigsaw is dull right where it needs to cut and then go up to home depot or lowe's i also want to cut my jigsaw blade I don't want it to cut through both layers. I don't need that back layer cut. I'm going to cut the jigsaw blade shorter. All right, well, it's that time. I'm just getting all the wires zip tied together and tidied up and tied up against the ceiling in here. Or the floor, I guess you could call it. The deck outside, inside. Look at this, 240 degrees. Come out here and look at our compass. It's exactly the same, it's just the boat moved. So now we're at like, it's coming back to 240. Just a little bit over. 239, a little bit under rather. Yeah, anyways, I've matched those up twice and they're one degree off right now. Um, I did test the other one and it is working fine, the old one. Actually, it steers, it's everything works on it. I didn't think so because of the way I'm in the dock and it, it keeps trying to correct, but the boat doesn't swing back the other way, so it just keeps trying and trying. I thought it wasn't working, but it is. But I'm going to put this new one on. It's brand new and it's these are pretty expensive. I don't really want to have the old one. Who knows how worn out it is, but I'll keep it as a spare. Look at this, it's a good thing I didn't use this as my main wheel pilot because, you know, it definitely looks old. The belt is like... Alright, look at that. It's on the wheel. And the little thing in the kind of it really stinks that this thing that's already on the pedestal it sticks into this hole and you have to cut it and for some reason the other ones it's smaller so it doesn't line up the same The system has you perform a couple different tests and has you time a certain movement that the wheel does. You input that time into the control box and then you're pretty much done until you try and sail with it and just kind of see how it performs and if it needs any other adjustments. So what do I think of the autopilot install? Man, you know, it's like these things take days, and then if you did it again, you could do it in hours. But i um, glad I did it. It's just, you know, a sense of accomplishment again. But it was a little difficult running all the wires and just planning it all out. Yeah, I was excited to try it out.
it all seems to work well and that's it when I do it again a lot faster the next time compared to this time but you know what it's doable to anyone now that I've done it it all makes sense but it's not one of those things you just read the instructions and go, oh, okay, I'm gonna go do it, I, it makes sense to me now. It was like once I did it, it made sense, and now the instructions make sense afterwards, if that makes any sense. <laughs> now I'm gonna have a beverage or two and just sit here and do nothing.